Alright, so let's get started. There's 51 games that I remember doing speedruns for. And uh, I want to make a tier list out of them. This will be mostly more from my perspective. And the perspective is the difficulty of the speedrun. Full game speedruns, I'm mostly gonna, I'm gonna mostly focus on those. No meme runs, pretty much. Or as a whole, the game itself. Like how hard the game was for me to learn and speedrun, etc, etc. And I just feel like, is it actually that hard to speedrun? I don't wanna start talking too long, but... Yeah, there's S+, plus and I can assure there's gonna be S+, S, S plus games. Which one do you think is better? Like, blue? Yeah, that's like, yeah, I'm gonna like, like that, and that's gonna be like... That, yeah, that's red, yeah. Yeah, I think those, those are like much better colors. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this in order because they're like almost randomized. I'm gonna like randomize a little bit them, so... Alright, so let's get started. Link's Awakening re remake. Uh, when I started that game, it was mostly like B, but then it started being S after so, so many new, new hard tricks were found. Mario Party 5. <laughs> Mario Party games are, have always been like very difficult. Okay, Mario 64 is interesting because it, that will definitely be S+, but I have no opinion on, on it because... Uh, I have no opinion on it because I didn't run that seriously on N64 console. I did runs for it, but on a virtual console in like 2012 or something. And I have no memory how like... How, like how the run was back then. It wasn't like super difficult, but if I really did runs on it on N64, it would be a lot difficult. So that will be S+, but no opinion, honestly, for now. That will change in the future if I ever do this again. Banjo Kazooie, I don't have an opinion on it because I did mostly like IELTS for the individual levels. I never did full game run. A Link to the Past, that feels like A. It's it's actually gonna A to me, just for me, because I, I did runs to it, not like super serious, on emulator. And it's it's difficult, but not like something I should heavily put on as as personally. If I did runs nowadays with all the new stuff that is there, I think it would be S or S plus. But I shouldn't underestimate like SNES games at all. All the all the old games are quite difficult. Crash Bandicoot, the Brad of Cortex. I never did full game runs to it. I did segment. I did like there was this tournament called I am speedrunner I entered that and I did I did run for it and I won the tournament after all that's where I that's like all I did for the Fred of Cortex <laughs> Mega Man 10 also the same thing I did segmented runs for it I did full game run but that was segmented it wasn't in full one and if you are wondering where I will put this if I did full game runs I will put Banjo Kazooie on B or A Blood of Cortex on C or B maybe, then Mega Man then on B A or something. B is like middle high tier, high tier is A, and S tier is like it's top tier hard game. Grass Bandicoot, I did full game runs to it. It was actually kind of difficult on its own, but not like super difficult, let's say. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, I actually did any percent for it. I've done randomizer, but I'm not gonna focus on randomizers at all. Just Actual speedruns. Any percent, the route I did wasn't the most difficult one, but the route has changed a lot with all the new stuff. I will put it on B for now, B plus or A, but I shouldn't put on A on anything like that is like more. Donkey Kong 64 is more, more of like a complex game with all the stuff that it had. The regular, the original DuckTales, it wasn't a bad that. Difficult game. It was short, easy to learn. I just did it for fun mostly. And I actually did full game runs to it, I remember. I remember. But not on stream. Most of the some of these games I never did on stream, by the way. <laughs> Machira's Mask for its time when I did runs, that was like I think it was hard for its time. I will put it on A behind Link to the Past for sure. DuckTales remastered. There's this one. Difficult glitch at the start of the run, but that wasn't the mostly the what made it hard or anything. It was kind of long, 
longer to like triple times longer than that. Yeah, Ma Machiro's Mask has changed a ton back then, but this is mostly like from my perspective, from my experience, and what I remember from doing the runs. It's not more of... I'm not looking at the, well, how the game is now, how difficult it is now, but from my experience and from my runs that I did. I did runs like 2013 the last time for Machiro's Mask. I've done randomizers, but I don't count those. So yeah, that's like, I just want to make sure that we are on the same page that I'm, we're looking at from my perspective, all right? <laughs> I don't want to explain too many times that. So yeah, Daxdales, I think I will put it on B. It wasn't like super difficult speedrun after all, not like A rank. All right, Hollow Knight. <laughs> when I learned that 12 hour challenge for true ending, Hollow Knight just made me realize, all right, this game is actually very difficult. Uh, trust me, Hollow Knight speedruns are like, they're nothing like what I expected. I was thinking like it's just like so something like Super Metroid, but it was like a lot harder than I imagined. <laughs> With that final boss in a true ending, no metro glitches, radiance. It's a hard one. I still wanna do speedruns for it. I still wanna do speedruns for Hollow Knight. Odyssey, Odyssey is a lot harder na than nowadays than it's, than it's right now. Like, it will be definitely S, but from my experience, it's A rank. It's probably like S minus ish, but I will put it on A. Mario World. It's the most difficult one. I will put it on B, personally. Super Metroid. I will put it on S or S there, but. Mm, Super Metroid is interesting because it, it is a hard speedrun game. Maybe I should put it on S plus, but I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't wanna have S plus have more than just two or three games as, ma as max. I will put it on S. It's like high S, but not S plus. It has really hard deck. The movement is actually really difficult, and if you want to optimize every room, you have to do that to save every single second and eventually frames. If you're a top runner, it is a hard speedrun game. Like I was surprised. In the same way, like. Hollow Knight. What categories did I run for Super Mario World? I did any percent and I did no cape, no star world or something. I think I did that, that once or twice. But I didn't do it for that seriously. More of like fun, any percents. Donkey Kong Country, you never see me doing runs for it, but it was like also B rank from my experience. From my, what I remember, I did it, did it mostly for fun, so it wasn't like that difficult for me because I did it, I didn't do any serious runs at all. Mega Man Eleven, that's like high B to me, maybe A, but it's more of like B, honestly. Tropical Freeze, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it also isn't like that difficult game. Maybe it is like up there when you do full game runs, honestly. Hard to say, but that's like where I would put it. The Wind Faker has changed a lot in the past years, but what I did was kinda difficult for its time, what I did. Undertale, I would only, honestly put it on no opinion, but I'm gonna put it on C. I don't know, maybe it's like B, but I will put it on C, just... <laughs> I only did one run for Undertale, and that was Sinocide. That was Sinocide. I only did one run. I didn't die to it though. <laughs> I didn't die for my run. It's not in a little box because it's had a wrong save file that I started with. Not a not a big deal. I only did run, run one run, so I don't I don't mind much. Oracle of Seasons is definitely like B rank, C rank to me, from my experience. I did did it runs I did runs to it in 2012 with Oracle of Ages. That is that that is there waiting for its turn. Breath of the Wild has changed. Truly to be S or A, high A. I would put it on A, like minus A for now. Because that's like, like how I solved that game. I did run to it like in a year ago, last time, with any percent. I got under 40 minutes. I would like to improve that later, eventually in the future. Bloodstained. <laughs> Honestly, Miri Miriam run. Miriam, with Miriam, if I run that, I would put it on A between there. Or something but if i did sanketsu that is a, like a hella hard run so i will put it on s in uh, terms of difficulty but i did mostly 
Miriam person, so I'm gonna put it on A for now. Mario Party, yeah, the same thing like Mario Party 5, it's on. <laughs> it is on, <clears throat> on C. Okay, Twilight Princess. This is like one of those games I've run a lot. That's definitely high up here. And I, I think Twilight Princess speedrun is harder than Link's Awakening remake. But I don't think it's harder than uh, Super Metroid. I've done a lot of runs for Twilight Princess. Twin Sanity, that's like B. It's like B or C because that was like a very easy runs. I did full game runs. Those were mostly segmented, so I would put it on op no opinion actually. When I think about it now. Because it was mostly not segmented. It wasn't like... Super serious. Pikmin 2. I did full game runs. It was it was actually somewhat difficult. Actually, it was on a full game run, but mostly like pay the depth out. So I would put it on B. I didn't get every treasure. Mega Man 9 is also no opinion slash no runs or it's segmented. I had in time it was actually somewhat difficult. I feel like it's more of like Odyssey, but a bit easier. Crash Bandicoot 3, I never did full game runs to it, I mostly did races. One full game run I probably did, just for fun, Not nothing serious. Alright, so Metro Prime, I have so much to talk about this game, alright? Metro Prime is the hardest speedrun game I've ever done. Hands down, it's like, I seriously think it's the hardest speedrun game I've ever, ever done. If not, then it's one of the hardest, but in my opinion, it's the hardest. The movement is crazy. Every room where you do movement, it matters. The game runs at 60 frames per second, and there's just... The tech is insane. There's not that many glitches. There are out-of-bounds glitches, but the movement is the one that matters the most for saving time and optimizing that game. So if you want to try speedrunning Metro Prime, I'm just telling you, it's gonna be hard. To speedrun it, but once you get started with that and you start getting better, it's so satisfying. It's like very satisfying speedrun. <laughs> Metro Prime is so hard, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Super Metro Boy, I remember doing like 8% for it. That's like hard one. But I would have put I wouldn't put it on there because I don't remember it. Uh, I don't know. I did full game run to it. Just for fun. But I will put it on no opinion for now. Oracle, Oracle of Ages was actually a difficult one for me. There was this one glitch that was frame perfect. And I think the game runs in 60 frames or 30 frames, but whatever. There's this one frame trick that leave, you leave the house and you wrong warp to the another re region. And that was like an hour in or something. Originally it was not gonna be, but I think uh, one, of, one of the runners or I did route that in and we just did that. So I will put it on there over... Seasons being hard. Crash Bandicoot 2, the same thing like Crash 3. I did races to it in a I Am Speedrunner 5. Mostly one races with friends and so on. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If nowadays we look at it, it will be S. But now I think from my perspective, it's like the same as Machiro's Mask to me. Maybe Ocarina of Time was a, le a less harder than Machiro's Mask from my perspective, honestly. I have no idea how it is how it is like nowadays. It's definitely a lot harder. Metro Prime 2. By the way, one thing, Metro Prime was my first speedrun game ever. Just saying. Metro Prime 2 was my second speedrun game ever. At least I remember that. But I did I did full game runs to it. Single segmented. Segmented. But I would put it on no opinion for now. Um, actually, if I look at it in a difficult perspective, I will put it on S. It is a hard speedrun, but not anything hard compared to Metro Prime, okay? The movement matters a lot for it, yes yeah, sure, but there's also a lot more to it. Nowadays there's out of bounds glitches, and I have no idea about those. Paper Mario that does on your door. I have no opinion on it. I did segmented speedruns to it. I want a glitch for it though, uh, it is actually used in a runs nowadays. Gate handle early. Donkey Kong Country Returns. I did IL, at, IL runs to it, nothing, no Vulcan runs ever. Portal. I did runs to it. It was like kind of, kind of fun runs, to what I did. So I don't have an, that much of an opinion. I will put it on no opinion, but I'm gonna put it, put it on C. Resident Evil 3. I did this S rank for Inverno mode. And that was actually difficult. I will put it on A. Maybe or S, but I'm gonna put it on A or some somewhere like there. Just from my perspective. 
Resident Evil 4, yeah, I did a new game plus, so it wasn't like that difficult to run. <laughs> Dark Fox Adventures, also was like run through, remember doing this and this kind of thing, so it wasn't like that difficult run. Why did I speedrun so many games? I don't know, I just tried, tried to find my game to speedrun that I would love to do for a long time. It was hard to find that it's Sunshine and Twilight Princess, but I'm, we're getting to Sunshine soon. Skywars Ford was up there being a difficult somewhat to remember like with a route and back in time stuff, but it's like one of the weakest PD Zeldas to me to speedrun. So we'll put it on B right now. Where's the Sly Cooper 3? I didn't put on Sly Cooper 3. Oh my god. I did runs for Sly Cooper 3. I forgot that. Okay, well, it's gonna be the same treatment like Sly Cooper 2. Sly Cooper 2, 2 and 3. I did one single se segmented runs to it. I never did a full game single segment runs. Super Mario Sunshine. Alright, this is like my main speedrun game. I don't want to put it on S. I want to put it on S more of there. I, I think that's where Sunshine belongs to for me. It's my main game. I speedrun most of the time. I've pretty much mastered it, but I don't think it's S+. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I, I don't think it's S+. I think it's S. I think it's harder than Link's Awakening. I think it's harder than Metro Prime 2. I think it's harder than Twilight Princess, but... <laughs> I don't think it's harder than Super Metroid. <laughs> If a game is more competitive, does it make it more difficult? Technically, yes, yes. So in that case, Sunshine will be up on S+. But from my perspective, when I've run for so long, I think Sunshine is there. That's where I will put it. Super Ma Paper Mario. No opinion. I don't remember much from it. It's like the same treatment like the Thousand Year Door I gave. Warrior World? <laughs> it's like... Kind of meme runs I did for it. It's like C. <laughs> it's kind of fun to mess around. But like a like a mega fun runs. Paper Mario, the same thing with a thousand year door. So all the Paper Mario games, all the Paper Mario games are like something I did segmented runs for, but never for single segment runs. But I, then I have, I have no opinion on, on it because it's changed so much in the past years. Xenoblade Chronicles is my favorite game of all time, and I have done a run for it. One run, New Game Plus, it was piss easy. <laughs> it was seriously so easy. You just run through the monsters and you kill them all with your OP characters you have in a New Game Plus level 99. So yeah, that's how I see these speedrun games in terms of difficulty. I think the hardest ever speedrun game is Metro Prime. Followed by Hollow Knight, and after that is Super Metroid, Super Mario Sunshine and Ballad Princess, then The Link's Awakening that in me doing runs for. So yeah, that's how I see the hardest speedruns games for myself. You can agree, you can disagree, this is my opinion. Thanks for watching.